I felt kind of bad about that. But uh, the deal is, uh, we coached together at Florida. He went to LSU, and uh, we've been friends for all those years. And to have him come in and take over the program, I know it's going to go forward. I know he knows how to win in Division One, and for me, that's I know that the the team and the program's in good hands. Um, Lee Moon coming here, I feel good about Lee because Lee feels about college athletes like I do. If you're going to be a coach, you better be here to win. If you're not here to win, you need to do something else. But people in this city, all from from the top to the bottom, have always helped us. You know, I see Rick Wilkins out there. Rick played in the big leagues and. And came back and helped us a bunch. And uh, anytime we ask for help in this city, we got it. The media, you've been great to us. Uh, anytime we've had things that you know, it made a difference uh, in our program, they were always here. So I appreciate that part. But I really believe that uh, the future is just going to shoot straight up from now on. I think we've got the right guy being AD. I really appreciate Richard Gropper. He made the transition. From Division Two to Division One, he helped us. He got it going. Lee's the guy. He's he's an old guy now, so you know you don't think that old guys are are bad. Just remember that old dudes rule. So, so I really believe that that's going to make a difference. We're going to really go up from from that. Uh, we still got another year. I got a really good team here. We brought in some really good freshmen. Those freshmen are the future of this program in Division One. The guys that are here now, that have been here for the last three or four years, that had to go through this ridiculous NCA ruling, um, I really got to take my hats off to them because every athlete here at UNF that had to go through that, they paid the price for the guys in the future. So without them, this wouldn't come about. It wouldn't happen. But we're looking forward to this year. Uh, these guys are going to play hard or I'll run the hell out of them, and we'll go from there. Uh, I appreciate them showing up today. And, uh, again, we start practice on Wednesday. Uh, we don't start practice. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I, I didn't say uh, that we start practice. We start lifting weights on, uh, on Wednesday. Again, the administration here, they've really been good to me, and they've been good to uh, our players, and I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. And... Um, Hopefully, at the end of this season, we'll be in the conference tournament, and then we'll see what happens. Um, we've never been afraid to play anybody. We played all the big teams, and uh, we've been beating a few of them. And now we're counting on beating a few more after this. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to let you say a couple okay. more things and bring them okay. up. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure everybody understands. I've told Dusty, this year is a special year. Athletic department, I have promised him, we will do everything we can in our power to give him every opportunity to be successful. We're going to let he and his coaches coach, and we're going to take care of all the other problems. We're going to take care of the fields. We're going to take care of the recruiting end of it. We're going to do everything to give him a chance. Nothing would make me happier than to fill that stadium every home game give him a chance to win a conference championship and go to the NCAAs. That's our goal. I know that's his goal, and I know it's his players' goal. Now, next, I'd like to just say a couple words, and then I'll bring up a um, man that's going to take over this program after Dusty retires. Just give you a quick little background. When Dusty came to, to me and to President Delaney last May and said, I think this is, I made a decision, this is what I want to do. I want to retire and make this our last year. We talked about what we wanted for the program, how we wanted to have it laid out for the next person, who we wanted to guide this program, who we were comfortable with, and how we would structure to go about to give us the best chance to be successful. And we believe we've done this. As Dusty alluded, um, Smoke is a longtime, lifelong friend. They've coached together. He knows what it's all about. I think President Delaney and I both felt like that Smoke's qualifications, he knows what winning championships about at the Division I level. He has taken teams to the Division I NCAA tournament, uh, not only at LSU, but also at a school like Louisiana Monroe, where he took them to the NCAA regionals three out of seven years. Um, 
And I know daggone good and well we've got better resources and a better facility to recruit to than Louisiana Monroe. I promise you, I've been to Monroe, Monroe Louisiana. <laughs> Smoke says that was my fault that I went there. <laughs> I only went once. <laughs> but uh, I think we all know where we're heading, and we have a commitment to do that, and we're going to do it the right way. So I hope we can get the, the alumni players that were here for Dusty for those many years that will come out and support him. He truly is. He has a great heart. He's like a lot of us. We're old and we're crusty, but we do rule. <laughs> but, there you go. We understand the deal. At this time, I'd like to welcome up uh, the head coach in waiting. How about that? Is that the best term I can do it? Uh, Smoke Laval. Here you go. Coach, you want to give him a hat? There you go. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Well, you know, we... Uh, going to start it. No, it's not a funeral here. Like, you're allowed to laugh and get into it. But before I get in trouble, Dusty, listen, this is the only thing I can teach you. Watch. Got to thank my best friend, my probably best fan when we're winning. You know, my number one draft choice, my wife, Pam. It's big. No, and, and this is how you keep it going. I mean, we've been married, what, 30 years? 15 for me, 15 for her. That's, that's long enough. But I, we go out dancing twice a week. I keep her happy. She goes Monday, Wednesdays. I go Tuesdays, Thursdays, and it works out real good. Secondly, before we get into Dusty, I'd just like to thank, you know, UNF. University of North Florida. I'd like to thank Coach Lee Moon. Now, I'm going to call him Coach. i got to get on him a little bit. See, he coached Mississippi State, Starkville. You think Funro was bad, Coach Moon. Starkville, Mississippi. All right, everybody says, ah, it's good to have I don't know if Coach Moon has caught on to it yet, but when he was coaching in Mississippi State, for them to get in school, this was the entrance. Guess which hand the keys are in? <laughs> you get two choices. I mean, but Starkville's gotten a little better. The astronauts, that's where they train the astronauts in Starkville, because there's absolutely no atmosphere there whatsoever. <laughs> Oh, and where, where's my secret handshake, guys? Coach Driscoll here, where's the basketball? No, there he is. Pittsburgh Mafia connection. Watch out. Both of us in the same arenas at times. And I was telling Dusty that down there, and I hope none of his basketball players are around because, see, I, I'm a little bit older than he was and kind of paved the way for offensive basketball where he grew up and, I went and watched him play high school one time, and I'm not saying he'd shoot a lot, but you could fake him a pass and he was going to take a shot. <laughs> but he's going to coach defense here. Very upbeat. I know he came from Baylor. All right, that's good. I know the baseball coaches from Baylor. Here's the bad part. They all coached in Starkville, Mississippi. You put two and two together on that one. You know, last but not least, before we get into Dusty, because it's all about him. But baseball, what a great game. Over last year, over 100 million fans went in and watched the games in the major league level, minor league level, collegiate level. It, it, it's amazing how it has grown. All right, little history lesson. <laughs> I studied a little bit, Dust. 1876, check it out. The Battle of Little Bighorn. General Custer was going to be a hero and went in on his own and got the snot kicked out of him. Do you know the same day the New York Knickerbockers lost 2-1 to one to the Cincinnati Red Stockings? That's how long baseball's been around. He's close. All right. <laughs> you know, I got... We got some of his players here, his old players. 
I was at the meeting yesterday, right? Who's the old, you know, the new guys? 